Welcome back. I'm Keegan Cooper. High school girls basketball regional semifinals are underway tonight. We start with the 23-1 Ishpeming Hematites taking on Kearney Nato for a spot in the regional final. Head to Kingsford High School, the site of the Division IV Ishpeming taking on Kearney Nato, this regional semifinal. Student section in full support, and it's Kearney Nato's Mariska Loro scores the first basket with six minutes left in the first quarter. Ishmaing takes the lead here now, four minutes into the first, thanks to a three-pointer from Peyton Kakery. Hematite's up a five to three. Then Carney Nato goes back in front in the second quarter. This three-pointer from Grace Mall wolves up 15 to 14. Hematite Maya Hemmer says, why not? I can shoot from downtown too. She gets it to go. And Ishmaing's back in the lead, 24 to 19. Third quarter now. Ishmaing's Jenna Mackey gets the steal, lays it in, and that is it. The rest is history. The Ishmaing press shows up tonight and they get the big time win 79 to 46. Ishmaing girls basketball coach Ryan Rico says the full court press was the decider. We knew that the pressure was going to start wearing on their legs and the decision making is going to get a little harder and uh, that's why we didn't really pull anything off even though they were having success in the first half but we just knew at some point the good things were going to come. Well the Hematites have now outscored their three postseason opponents 217 to 121. To find out who the Hematites play in the regional final, we head to Houghton. And tonight on the Houghton Gremlins floor, the semifinal between the Lakeland and Lakes with the Ewan Trout Creek Panthers. Now at halftime, the Panthers led 28 to 24. We go to the second half though. Lakes held on tight, keeping pace here with less than a minute remaining in the third quarter of the ball. Gets passed to Amy Marley, who passes it to Cleo Melke, and that three-pointer falls. Now, the quarter would end with the Panthers just in front by one, 39 to 38, but they soon began to pull ahead again. Bree Benson in, lobs it cross-court to Michaela Basil, who's waiting under the net. That's good for two. The Lakes did their best to stay hot on their heels, though. Two minutes left. Emily Jokola looks for an opening, goes around. Some good screens there and gets the shot to fall. It's 42-43. But in the final minutes, the Panthers pounce, furthering the distance with a couple baskets and a couple sets of free throws, and they get the win 51-44, ending just a great season for the Lakes. So that means in your Region 25 final, the Ishpeming Hematites will take on the Ewan Trout Creek Panthers Wednesday in Marquette High School at 7 p.m. And moving ahead now, Danica Shamian and the West Iron County Wycon still alive, taking Harbor Springs on in the D3 Regional 17 semifinals at Escanaba. The Wycon faithful made the trip too, and wow, were they loud. West Iron County started hot, nine point lead late in the first half when Hayden Gill gets the third chance effort to go right before the halftime buzzer. Wycons lead it 24 to 13 at the break. But the Rams mounted a comeback in the third quarter. Olivia Flynn with the steal and coast to coast for the lay-in. It's now a four-point game. Flynn led all scorers with a whopping 33 points. Final minute of the third now. Wycons by five. And it comes down. A huge three from Caitlin Smith. Off an assist from Shamian. Westy, the Wycon is loving it. Then there was some high-level basketball played in the fourth. Two and a half minutes left. West Iron County with a two-point lead and Danica Shamian. Off the rim, no good, but on the second one falls, plus the foul. Wycon's up 49-45. They would never give up the lead, and some big free throws in the final minutes would seal the win, 52-47. West Iron County is headed to the regional final. Here's head coach Eric Shamian. Every kid that I put on the floor tonight uh, played with their heart and soul, and, you know, this is March Madness. This is what you ask for. It doesn't get any better than this. When you have a kid like uh, Danica Shamian that can handle the ball for you, and she has quickness, uh, you know, we want the ball in her hands in the fourth quarter. But, uh, you know, what can I say? Uh, a great effort by my whole team. Well, a great effort indeed, and Danica Shamian just playing some great basketball all season. But let's check out who the Wycons will face in the regional final. It's a matchup with Elk Rapids. The Elks in the regional 17th final. That game Wednesday at 7 p.m. in St. Ignace. Now to Division Four, the regional 26 semifinal in Brimley. The Bays up against the Munising Mustangs. After the first quarter, Mustangs up 7-6. 90 seconds in, and it's Autumn Tremblay. Powers her way to the hoop. Count it. Back the other way, Munising responds. Nice pass inside. Emmy Crisp gets that one to go and foul, but no good on the free throw. Mustangs can shoot from outside as well. Here's Bailey Corcoran, lofting a three to put them up four, but the Bays come down. Ava Elliott pumps, drives, and gets it to go. 
Bays down four, short time later. Sierra LeBlanc on the break. That one goes in, but it's short-lived. Julia Prunick, sweet move in the paint. And that short jumper falls. Few seconds left in the half, and the lane opens up for Dane Benning. She puts the Mustangs up by three in the first half. And the Mustangs own the second half. All Mustangs here. Corcoran feeds to Crisp. She knows what to do. Mustangs up nine. Inbounds to Crisp. The bank shot is good. Crisp had 19. Corcoran had 18 to lead the Mustangs tonight to a 47-30 win. And to find out who the Mustangs play, we go to your scoreboards now. The St. Ignis Saints took down Inland Lakes 59-35 to tonight. So that means the Munising Mustangs will face the St. Ignis Saints Wednesday at 7 p.m. in Newberry for your Region 26 final. Should be a good one. Also in girls basketball tonight, Nagani ends Petoskey's season with a 43-29 win. The Miners advance to the Region 9 final, taking on, well, the Lettington Orioles, who were victorious tonight against Clare, 43-34. The Miners and the Orioles will go head-to-head -head on Wednesday. It should be a good matchup. That game gets going in Petoskey.